Hello guys, here's another Final Cut Pro X tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be creating a split screen type um, uh, effect. So we've got some uh, video footage here that I've imported. And we're going to actually have the same piece of video footage um, in our frame in several places. And it's gonna be um, split up and scaled slightly differently, but they're all gonna play in sync with each other. So once you've got this one piece of video footage here, we're going to copy it and drag it above and we'll copy it and paste it again. And this time, place it above there. Okay, so now we can remove that blank piece there. So now we've got three layered videos there and they're all actually the same. Um, so now we're going to start with our effects. So what I'm going to do with this first video here is we will crop it. You know, right side here. Should have a ah, just select the video there. And we can crop here. So we can choose the trim or crop. So we're going to trim it. From the left side. And we'll also trim it up a little bit from the bottom. Now, if we actually drag these pieces out of the way, we'll just make that one um, invisible for now. So we'll drag the opacity down. Same also for this one here. Yes, yeah, so you can see now the effect that we've got here with our cropping. So you can also change this to different types of crops. So we're going to stay with trim. So I want to trim in the left side, say to 540. And our bottom, I'm going to trim up a little bit more also to 540 there. Now our next piece of video footage here, we'll bring the opacity up. And with this piece, I'm going to crop from the right side and also from the top, like so. I'm going to leave a thin black line between the two. And then our final piece of video footage here will increase the opacity of this. And we're going to crop again. Um, this time from the left. There, and we're going to leave our black gap. And also again from the top. There we go. Okay. Now if we play this, everything will actually play in time with each other with those gaps in between. Now I'm going to clone one more piece of video. Um, I'm just going to trim this one a little bit more that way. And control C and control V. There's our final one there, and this one will crop in that direction. And we're gonna leave a slightly wider black gap there. Okay. Um, let's check this one back a little bit. There we go. All right, so there is our split up video. And you'll see it all plays in sync with each other. Now we've done that, we can actually add then different effects to each one. So let's take this video for example, and I'm gonna come down here to our video effects. We'll go to color, or stylize, and I'm going to choose 
film grain for this one and we'll drag it and drop it on. Now you'll see that has a slightly different color to it. And maybe we'll select film noir for this other one. We'll drag it in there. And for our other one here, I'm going to go with aged film. And for our final one, I'm going to go for combat. So we'll drag those into there. So now we have each one with a different stylized video effect on it but it all plays in time with each other. I'm just going to uh, edit the nostalgia effect a little bit. Um, which one's that? I think it's yeah, film noir, sorry. Um, the effect is a little bit powerful, so I'm going to... There's some editing we can do to that. Uh, we'll go to our color and color correction. Open up our color board. And we can make some edits there and also to our exposure. go okay so there is our split screen video effect now I want to animate those so that they actually come in from from different places at the beginning so we'll start with our video in the top left corner here and we have this distortion which allows us to distort the, the video. So what I want to do with this is actually distort it off a little bit like so. Leave that at zero. Okay, and I'm going to add a keyframe for this. Let right, me remove that keyframe for a moment. Uh, now I want to alter the position of this video piece. So we're going to drag the position over to the left so it's off the screen. Okay, now we'll add a keyframe for this. Gonna go forwards a few frames. And then we'll change our position back to zero. So that will animate onto the screen. It's a little bit slow, so I'm going to come to our position there, delete that want it to come on a little bit faster so I'm going to add a new frame there okay maybe also faster still so delete that keyframe come back to here and we'll add it there okay there, so that comes on a little bit faster. Now you can see it's still distorted. Um, so what I also want to do then is come to our distortion. We're going to add our keyframes for this. Come forwards and we'll reset all of these back to zero. Now when we play that, there's our 
animated section coming in. Now we'll do the same type of animation with this piece here. This is our top right. I'm going to move this off the screen, add a keyframe, come forwards, reset this to zero. There's our pieces coming in. And the next one, I'm going to have that come not just from the side, but also from below so set that down there add our keyframe come forwards and then we'll reset these positions to zero and finally our bottom right corner, same thing. Take it off the screen. Whoops. Add the keyframe at the beginning. Come forwards and reset all of these again to zero. So now, if we play that at full screen, there's our split screen video with our different effects applied to each section there. So I hope you found this tutorial useful on how to create a split screen video effect with um, different um, color corrections and, and filters added to each section of that video and some basic animation on how to animate those parts onto the screen. Thanks for tuning in to Final Cut Pro Tutorials and I'll see you next time.